What's going on YouTube? It's Jason Tabo. So look, I'm gonna give you five ways on how to stop overthinking and anxiety. Maybe it might be a little bit more. Uh, it just all depends. I'm just going off of what I'm saying right now. So look, because I'm at the store right now. Uh, number one, number one, bro. Look at the time. You overthink over some simple stuff. Man, look. Number one, the timing. You worried about something that happened in the past or something that's going to happen in the future. How you going to worry about that and you right here in the moment? You got to be worrying about what's going on right now. You feel me? So my thing is, you probably worrying about an embarrassing moment back then. Probably something that happened to you back then. You overthinking about, bro, you can't let that shit rent space in your head, bro. You cannot let that stuff rent space in your head. You feel me? When you let that stuff happen, you can't focus on what's going on right now. And you don't know. All this time you got right now is valuable as fuck. So, bro, you got to focus on what's going on right now. You feel me? And then you worry about your future and stuff. Like, I understand, but you can't overthink it, bro. You can't overthink it. Overthinking causes you to make bad decisions. And then on top of that, yo, when you overthink, that causes fear. And then when fear happens, your brain releasing chemicals to your body, making your body feel more weak. That's just the that's just the metaphysical way of, of how you overthink, bro. It fucks with your body physically. It don't even mess with you just mentally. It messes with you physically and spiritually. But check this out. Number two. Number two, bro. Write it down. When you write down, like, look, when you write down negative stuff, you can see what's going on in your head. So when you write it down and then you cut whenever you cool off, let's say maybe an hour later, you go back and look at it and you be like, damn, this wasn't even me. You look at it, you be like, I was overthinking. You feel me? You was overthinking it the whole time. Like, you was overthinking it. And then, when you go back, you just like, it don't even make sense why I was overthinking it. Now that you got that out of the way, now you can clear your head for some more positive stuff. This goes into you manifesting, but you know, there's that too. You know, but that helps. After you're done overthinking the negative stuff on whatever you wrote it on, man, burn it crush it up, do whatever. I preferably burn it and get rid of it once I got all that negative stuff out of the way. But you feel me? Now you can see what you was on. All right, so number three. Bro, it don't even matter. So check this out. It don't even matter what you stressing about, bro. It's all in your head. It's all in your head, bro. One thing I realize is that your own thoughts will go against you because you only got the mastery of your own mind. You think you got control of your mind, but then you let your fears, your anxiety, all that shit creep in when you do some certain shit. Like, look, maybe you want to start a business, a YouTube channel like me or something else. You see, oh, my, excuse me. But anyway, you know, you don't overthink that. I'm not overthinking this YouTube stuff because I know it's going to take time to do it. It's not an overnight thing. You feel me? It's not an overnight thing. I'm not worried about this and that. I'm going to just use what I got available to me until I can get what I need to equip myself better with it, to do better with it. You feel me? But for now, I'm just making these videos. I'm just making these videos. I ain't overthinking it. I ain't overthinking it. I don't give a fuck about what nobody say. You know, that's how it always starts off. So I'm not overthinking it. When I got my license, I overthought the driving license test. Man, that shit was easy as hell. It was easier than the written test when you got to get your permit. I was too worried about nothing. Same thing with high school. I made high school more harder than what it was on me because I was overthinking it. Simple. Very, very simple. When you overthink stuff, you make it more challenging it for you and it, make, and it manifests into challenges in your life. You feel me? So you got to like get rid of that. Number four, you got to meditate. Now, meditate or pray, preferably whichever one, but mostly I'm going to stay on meditating this one. Now, this is why. Everybody can meditate. There's no specific way to meditate, bro. You sit down, close your eyes, and you just watch your thoughts. Like, you just let whatever you feel in your head roll through, bro. You feel me? You let whatever in your head roll through. Because, check this out. If you had a bad day, you got to sit there and think about how you feel. You got to watch how you feel. Like, damn, how do I feel today? What what happened? You feel me? All that. You got to think about all that. You got to watch yourself. 
you know, when the negative thoughts come while you meditating, just let them flow, let them flow, let them flow. Because eventually they just going to go away because it's all in your head. And once they go away, you create room for positive stuff. Think about what you want in your life right now. Think about what you want to do. Think about your goals, all that, bro. It's very simple. It's very simple, bro. You overthink about some simple stuff like, oh, she ain't text me back or he ain't text me back. Or talk, or overthink, oh, I ain't get the job of this and that. Bro, there's a lot of opportunities in this world. A lot of people, all that, man. You ain't got to worry about none of that. You just got to keep pushing. You feel me? What flows, flows. What crashes, crashes. So if it doesn't happen, it wasn't meant to be. Or if it doesn't happen, you're not working hard enough or you just got to find a different method. Those are three reasons right there, bro. You feel me? So don't overthink it. Like, we really overthink some stuff, bro. I want you to think about this. And I didn't make this quote up. You know, I just got this quote from a video game, but you know, I I'm, I didn't make I didn't make this quote up. So you know, I ain't stealing nobody's stuff. But I'm gonna say it. Every man dies. We know all of us know we gotta leave this motherfucker. Every every man dies. Not every man lives. Now, what do you think that means? Bro, that means literally that, yeah, every man dies because we know we got to leave this motherfucker, but not that every man lives. Like, yeah, you physically living, but up here and right here, are you living? No, because you either stressed about something half the time, you're not enjoying yourself, you're always angry about something, there's always something that's blocking your physical experience. Even though we in the matrix, my nigga, you still got to have this physical experience and you still got to enjoy yourself. Somehow, you still got to. You feel me? So when, when, cause when, cause that's what you could be alive, you know, not in the grave, nothing, but you, mentally up here, spiritually right here, you could feel dead every day because you probably in a cycle, get up, go to work, get up, go to work, same thing, same thing. Cause you ain't break the cycle. You feel me? So that's, that's kind of like the same when they say every man, everybody, man dies, but not every man lives. You feel me? That's kind of the same right there. So you feel me? You got to like think past that. You got to think past that. You feel me? See, when you meditate, you literally have to let all them thoughts flow, bro. It ain't hard. Anybody can do it. I, literally anybody could do it. You feel me? Number five. Bro, that shit don't even matter. It don't. When you mature, you realize, man, someone always going to have it worse than you. Someone always going to have it better than you. So I trip. Just keep trying. And you got to let... God, the universe, the ancestors, whatever you want to call it, you gotta let that you gotta let that handle the rest. You feel me? You gotta let that handle the rest. Train coming and stuff. But you gotta let that handle the rest, you feel me? Because just look, it's a simple fact that you know, you realize this. Every there's somebody in the world that's always gonna have it rougher than you. Someone in the world might always have it better than you. Those are two simple and real facts. Straight up. Someone always going to have better than you. Someone always going to have a worse than you. Most of the time, someone always going to have a worse than you. So, you know, be grateful for what you got. And that's my six. And that's my, you know, well, I can't put it six fingers. That's my six tip, bro. Be grateful for what you got. You feel me? Sometimes you got to experience somebody else's life and go in their shoes and be grateful for what you got. And that stops your overthinking. You feel me? Be grateful for what you got in front of you, bro. So be grateful for what you got in front of you. It's as simple as that, man, you know. But, you know, those are like six, five, six tips on how to stop overthinking and anxiety. It, I didn't even have to go real deep on this. You feel me? It ain't hard. It ain't hard. I mean, sometimes it is. But, you feel me? You got to have the right people around you. You can't have nobody draining your energy. You feel me? You just got to put yourself in the right place. You got to meditate. You feel me? You ain't got to be spiritual to meditate. You ain't got to be none of that. Meditating is a technique that anybody can use. It's so simple as you just sitting down with yourself, catching your breath, looking at your life, and just, you know, breathing. You feel me? If you think about a situation too long for more than five minutes, man, fuck it. You feel me? There's always a way, you know? But that's it for this video, you know? Y'all take care of yourselves, man. Stop the overthinking beat your anxiety you feel me because sometimes these thoughts are not yours sometimes the thoughts you have are just bad spirits and bad energy that latches onto you that's why i say you gotta write your stuff down that way when you cool off later you see that 
you didn't think that was you at first. I've done it before. I wrote down dots that where I was angry and depressed and I'd go back to them. I'm like, damn, I was like, I was like this. You feel me? So, you know, just try these tips, you know, and just do what you got to do. But that's it, man. J. So Taboo. I'm signing out.